everybody and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my bedroom. We are here because I have finally finished my very first custom PC and if you want to see my journey in building the PC click the link up above you'll see where I picked up some of my gear where I actually found 3070 RTX 3070 GPUs in stock. I have footage it's not even clickbait it's 100% real. Now I'm hoping that the sound is okay because I don't have a mic plugged in because I typically don't film in here. So bear with me, I'm hoping all of the sound and quality is a-okay. So my custom PC is finished on top of this desk that I just built last night by hand with a hand screwdriver, you guys. You have no idea. But let's get through some of the specs of this custom gaming PC. So first up is the motherboard. I have an Asus X570 motherboard and I paired it with a 5900X CPU. Yes, I actually found that too. Um, so that's the first things that I was able to get the motherboard and the CPU and the GPU I was all able to find at the exact same location. Let me tell you guys, girls can find anything and everything. Girls, you know how we do, okay? When we find that one chick that's been leaving hearts under our boyfriend's significant others, Instagram photos, like let, let the men know, we are better than the FBI when it comes to finding gear. And here is your proof because I have the boxes. So we have the Ryzen nine here's the box for that and the geforce rtx 3070 yeah we've got one and we got one super exclusive i wanted to cry when i was able to find this in stock and pick it up like i like oh my god oh my god yes yes look look at the dream and for those of you who are watching this and you don't know why i'm flexing this so hard it's because it's damn near impossible to get a GPU right now, like impossible. So for me to be able to get a 3070 is insane. Um, on top of the CPU I was able to get like, and just so you guys know, all the stuff that I have in my PC, I only picked up about a month ago. So it's not like I had it ahead of time before the whole shortage happened. Like I really just got this stuff. Like I said, this is my first time building a gaming PC. So in the comment section below, let me know what you think. Did I do a good job? Have I entered the ranks of the elite geeks? Did I do well enough for the geek overlords to accept me amongst them? I think I did okay. I am a content creator. I do a lot of video editing, obviously. So for some of you who are looking at the specs of this PC, you're like, oh my God, she built the beast of a computer. Yes, I did because I edit videos and I do a lot of extensive you know, editing and stuff like that. So that's why the computer is the way that it is. I do have a lighting, um, custom lighting setup, setup settings and whatnot. Um, I don't even know why it's not kicking in right now, but it's not. Probably because I just unplugged it and put it on my desk so I could show it off, right? Let's get into the RAM because I'm actually super proud of this RAM. And I have two more here because let me tell you guys, um, I got my RAM originally from Newegg, but Newegg took forever, and I mean weeks, sending me my RAM to the point where I was just like, I built my entire computer, and the only thing that wasn't in there, like I literally put the whole thing together, but the RAM wasn't in there, which, you know, I, I get that RAM is supposed to be one of the um, first things you put in your computer, but I didn't have it, and I was really impatient. I wanted to build my computer, so Newegg took forever, and I ended up caving and ordering another... Um, set from Amazon which got here faster, two days faster than Newegg. So now I have these two that I'm probably just going to put in there anyways. The RAM that I am working with is two, well actually four, I was going to say two but I have four. Um, so I have four 16 gig Trident Z Royal RAM and if you don't know how beautiful this RAM is, it literally looks like crystal. It's so fancy, it's so me. Because I had to, I had to. So I'm going to try to get this to focus. So I guess I have four 16 gig Trident Z Royal Ram sticks. So I guess I just put the other two in there. But I heard something as if um, the four sticks isn't, even go isn't going to help because these are, um, they're dual channel, but they're dual lane, like two lanes. And only single lanes are supposed to actually bump up the speed and the capacity there. When I say I research the hell out of PC building, I research the hell out of it. And it should be pretty evident by the fact that what I was able to build on my first try. Uh, the storage that we're working with is an one stick, uh, one M.2 NVMe stick, two 
terabytes and then I have an 8 terabyte HDD and then I do have a second HDD that has 2 terabytes. I haven't plugged it in yet but I might, you know, I just might. I might put it in there. I'm already looking into putting some Liam Lee extension cables in here because RGB, right? Because RGB. I love RGB like it shouldn't even be a surprise. For those of you who it's not your first time on the channel, it shouldn't be a surprise that I'm RGB crazy. RGB all day. So you know pretty much all the specs that I have in here. The um power that I am working with is 800 watts I believe it's white Asus 800 watt gold standard so I think that's plenty of power for what I'm working with and yeah putting it together it, like I said I have a video of me kind of putting it together and you can see what I went through I did do the cable management okay so like you know geek freaks in the comments I tried to do you proud and thank you to all the youtubers that take the time to upload like how-to videos all the tutorials like thanks for like Linus tech tips everybody who does that stuff seriously helped me because I learned how to put a, P a PC together purely through YouTube. Nobody helped me pick out specs. Nobody helped me pick up the items. Nobody helped me put it together. Like it was 100% me and my phone and YouTube. So thank you to all the YouTubers out there. Now I don't think I'm forgetting anything. That's pretty much everything that I have in here. I didn't, when I first tried to turn on my PC, honestly, I, I guess I didn't make any mistakes other than I forgot to flip this cable at the back, or the, the switch at the back of my computer so it didn't turn on when I hit the button. But once I realized, go watch the video, you'll see what I did because I almost cried. I almost cried because I thought I screwed up. The only thing that I think I messed up on um, building the PC was originally I didn't have that little holder screw that holds up the M.2 and I had accidentally screwed it all the way into the motherboard but luckily I was able to fix it and you guys will not believe how I was able to like realize what I'd done. I was watching all of the YouTubers roast The Verge while I was building my PC because when I say I watched every single PC building video out there I watched them all like even to the years prior I got I went so far back as to find all of the Verge roast videos and he had screwed his M.2 directly into the motherboard and then I was like oh I just did that but that's the only thing that I think I messed up on because everything else worked out great everything's perfect and running so now that we went through the PC itself and the specs and everything let's talk about what I am using keyboard monitor wise. I have an LG 4K 32 inch monitor. I originally did want a curved monitor but I had to admit I'm not a constant gamer. I do play games but gaming is not my focus for this build so I was like it works better for me to have a 4K monitor because I want to make sure my quality for YouTube is A-OK -okay and wonderful so I have a 32 inch 4K monitor which I love and it is so beautiful. I think I'm going to try to put the specs in the description box of this video just in case you're like trying to figure out like what exactly I have here. What else do I oh I have two mechanical keyboards but the mechanical keyboard that is my favorite almost looks like a typewriter. I got it from I got it from a website called Pink Stuff. It looks great. It lights up and uh, my favorite setting on this keyboard is the fact that it lights up as I like when I type it lights up underneath my fingers. It's very magical and I love it. It does not change colors though. For those of you who are like I love this keyboard. I know a lot of people love it. The links to the keyboard I will put in the description box but just know that it doesn't change color. It does stay blue but my favorite color is blue. My setup's supposed to be like lit with blue so I'm totally fine with the color. So this is my very first gaming PC build which I'm very proud of. I didn't really have any issues putting it together and like I said thank you to everybody online who takes the time to do like the detailed tutorials and show me how to like download windows and put it on the PC like I really had to do this all on my own and I'm super super proud and happy and lucky okay. I know some of you are watching this and you are thirsting over the boxes that I have around me because you cannot get your hands on a 3070, a 30 60. I mean where I picked mine up I do believe they are still in stock so just saying you might want to check that video out but thanks for sitting here and being with me and letting me show you my brand new PC so now that I do have my brand new PC that means for those of you who have been on the channel for a while you know I've been having editing issues and it's been slowing down my production but now that I have my new PC yes we will have more consistent uploads more frequent uploads quicker uploads as you've seen I've already picked up the pace with uploading videos like I think there was one week I uploaded like five videos or something so I have finally fixed the issue so you can expect so much more from me and I can do so much more and I'm so excited to expand the channel and 
kind of try a little bit more creativity here. You're going to see some, some things develop, some new things come. Nothing's leaving, but new things will be coming. So I'm happy to do this with you guys. And thanks for sitting here with me and helping me go through this. This PC was paid for by me, not sponsored not even sponsored by my YouTube checks, okay? Because the checks are not big enough to build the PC that I just built, okay? If you don't believe me, look up the prices of some of these parts. My YouTube check can't even cover the price of my CPU, all right? Like when I say this thing is expensive, it's expensive. But anything for you guys because I, I just, I love being a YouTuber. It's, it's great, it's fun and I have many many plans for the future in the comment section below let me know what you think of my new pc build did i do a good job please tell me i did a good job please tell me i did a good job um check out my actual building video where you see me like putting things together and you can see it like taken apart and everything um just just let me know if there's any upgrades or things that i should look into if you are a pc builder like i'm a newbie okay i'm not saying i know hardly anything about stuff like this so just any tidbits you want to give me, that's totally fine. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here in attendance, hello. Please consider hitting the subscribe button and check out my family channel because honestly, that is where I'm going to be doing gaming videos. I'm going to be doing uh, live streaming, gaming streams, and motorcycle videos. That's all going to be on my other channel that is linked up above the channel. It's called The House of Sovereign. So if you're more of a, like a nerdy person and you want to do like games and all that stuff or you want to play Among Us with me, family channel right over there me my little brother my mom let's get down with it now that I have a PC I'm so excited <laughs> okay I love you I'll miss you and you know I will be back in a future video bye